You know, they say you're not supposed to spend your time keeping up with the Joneses. You, you don't covet what your neighbor has. Instead, you should find your own happiness. Chase your own bliss. And in my experience, the easiest way to do that is to take what your neighbor has. So, this week on Cartridge Blowers, we're reaching back into the Cardiovals and pulling out games other hosts already played, but we really wanted to try ourselves. Cody takes the last train to giant amorphous hand monsterville in Bloodstained, Curse of the Moon. I learn how to love the bomb in Scribblenauts Unlimited. And Nikki just kind of spends eight minutes murdering a prone man in Surgeon Simulator. All this, and we discuss the Super Mario Brothers movie cast. You know, I honestly think that Sir Ian McKellen will be a fine Funky Kong. It's Cartridge Blowers, episode 190. If a doctor malpractices in the woods and there's no one there to see... You know, I actually want to ruminate on that title for a bit. Um, so if a doctor malpractices in the woods and no one is there to see... Are they doing surgery on themselves? Is that what's happening in this scenario? Is it... They're doing bad surgery on themselves? I guess... What is a bad surgery? A miserable pile of secrets, I guess. End intro. The end. Why in I ends cartridge blowers? Starring Cody Coleman, Nikki Wright. Matt Krua, and no one else, Cartridge Blowers. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Why and I Ends Cartridge Blowers, the show where we give video games a second chance to make a first impression. I'm Cody Coleman, and with me, as always, is Nikki Wright. Hello. And Matt Krua. Stop. <laughs> and right back to me. This is the show where, in the second half, we play video games based around a theme, and this week, the theme is envy, jealousy. We are jealous of each other and the things that we have, so now we must participate in those same games so basically we're taking games that other people uh nikki or matt uh, for myself uh and and play them um so we were like oh hey they played them a long time ago now it's our turn now it's my turn so uh yeah that's what we're gonna do uh you've seen these games before if you've watched us uh throughout but now you get to see maybe a new side of these games yeah, really a new, so. a sexier I think right? Nobody watching has seen those episodes. Hey, <laughs> you don't think any, you don't think anyone went back and watched the entire? Yeah, <laughs> Mimi fan has watched everything. Yeah, um, Mimi Which fan doesn't have anything else to do, but and so I, I pity Mimi fan for that. But I mean, you know, you can go back right now, viewers, and you can watch episode like what? What do we say ours was from? Like episode thirty something? They're bad. Yeah, they're bad. Yeah. I and mean, these are bad now, but they were really bad then. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, imagine dude. how bad we are currently, but then, like, take yeah. our frame rate and divide it by three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, we're, we were nowhere near HD. Our frame rate was real yeah. bad. We were all pixelated. It was, we're on... Uh, we're we're on we're on Skype at one point. We were we started out on Skype. We weren't even watching videos via a streaming service that kept everything in sync. Like I had a tablet on my hand and we pressed play at the same time to be able to watch things. Yeah. So and like what were we classic. recording with? Like, cause we've gone through several iterations, right? Over yeah. The years. I don't even It was like Google software. before Google Hangouts, it was something else that was depreciated. It was like uh like G, G unit, like G Google. gear yeah. or something like that, which is what Hangouts Hangouts bought them, and that's that became the the app of Hangouts. But uh, yeah, it was something that doesn't exist anymore. Um, in fact, Hangouts doesn't really exist anymore. So there you go. That's why we're on Discord now, baby. Yeah, a little bit of a little little peek behind the old curtain there, yeah. you know. Uh, if you, if you, if you know, you came here to watch us talk about video games and play video games, but no, we're talking about depreciated <laughs> chat programs. <laughs> we're talking uh, about old. Is that not intriguing show. for people? Yeah, yeah. Back in the day when this show was on real media, um, <laughs> yeah. it was, 
<laughs> we, we streamed live on Winamp. We really whipped the llama's ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm whipping a llama's ass right now. It's great. Yeah. So that, that's... Before. That's, uh, you know, we kind of got away from it, but that's what you have to look forward to in uh, the second half of the show. But first, we're going to have to go and talk about a few other things before we get to that video game plan. And uh, if you're watching us after the fact, as you can every other week, thereabouts on youtube.com slash cartridgeblowers, you can skip ahead by clicking on the timestamp in the description below. But if you're watching us live, as you can mm, one to two times a month, depending, we've not been as good with our schedule lately just keep, but just keep saying Listen, by we're adults and we're busy yeah. <laughs> we're yeah. depression what do you want <laughs> say bi-weekly put it into the universe and eventually it'll come true yeah yeah fake it till you make it is what, yeah. what they say yeah so um you know come watch us live you can hang out in the chat room uh we got active chatters right now and we have an after show after the fact we have we have, we have cute chatters we have we have cool chatters we have, uh, cool ranch I would say, funny. cool ranch chatters. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. They're, they're wonderful. Mm. Wonderful chat. So, all right. Uh, yeah. So, before we get to the video game plan, uh, Matt, I hear you've been playing some stuff. What you playing? Yeah. I want to talk about a couple of video games. Uh, you asked me what I want to talk about before the show. I lied. I have two things I want to talk about. Um, I'll be quick about one uh, because I have been streaming it. Uh, we have been streaming the Final Fantasy Pixel Remasters. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah. You have you heard about Final Fantasy? Have you heard about this Final Fantasy stuff, Cody? I, I've heard about it. Yeah, I, I've heard. I know tell. Nikki's heard about it because, yeah. you know, of the guy. But like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> OK. <laughs> but Cody, Cody you've, you've only played the one. You've only played the one Final Fantasy, which is 10. You played like. 35 minutes of it. I've played the original seven and I played the American two and that's all I am in the process okay. of playing of 10. So, okay. American two is four. That's okay. So that's getting a pixel remaster here. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think, you know, the pixel remasters are basically final fantasy one through six currently only up to four. Um, but I, uh, they've sort of redone all of the graphics, made them a lot sharper and brighter. Um, they've redone the soundtracks in some really fantastic ways. Uh, they've redone the, uh, kind of like giving you the best sort of, uh, gameplay advancements from like a lot of different versions. Well, not the best, but a lot of good ones. Um, and needless to say, I've always kind of been down on those first three Final Fantasies, Final Fantasy 1, 2, 3. Uh, I've never been able to get through them, never been able to play them. I've thought they frankly sucked shit um and i had a lot of fun playing final fantasy one really uh, i had some i have some fun playing final fantasy two and i'm having quite a bit of fun playing final fantasy three sort of um awesome <laughs> can we unpack that a little bit you're having quite a bit of fun sort of uh it's a really great game and then i made the mistake i made the mistake of i wanted some chat interaction because i love chat interaction when i stream and so they can pay channel points. It's got the job system. It's the first game in the Final Fantasy series with the job system. I made it so chat can change my job with channel points at any time. Oh. That's been a nightmare. And, yeah. uh, <laughs> oh, uh, no. But a kind, of a fun, kind of a funny nightmare. Kind of a funny nightmare. Um, but yeah, so I think the Pixel Remasters are fantastic. I think there's, um, you know, other than the basic font that comes with it, which you can change on PC through modding, um, I think they're they're probably the essential way to at least play those first three games. Um, I'm looking forward to playing four, five, and six, um, and seeing where those go. That's really all I want to say. Just keep watching me stream them because uh, they're they're fucking great. So where are you in three? Because I I haven't been keeping up too terribly much. Um yeah, go ahead. And I right. didn't finish three uh, because of the age old problem of playing the game for like four hours and not saving and then dying in a <laughs> in a dungeon. And sure. say, no, I think I'm going to shelve this for a bit and then never coming back to it. I get it. I get it. Well, first of all, the Pixel Remasters have autosave. So, uh, That's cool. Um, I, I believe, let's see, I beat a guy in a gold mansion. Um, and then I went underwater into a cave and got some stuff. And I think I'm supposed to like, uh, there's like a, I found a wizard's thing, a guy named Noah. I found his, his deal. He had like a, a, a an instrument of some kind, and I got it. Okay. Um, that's kind of where I'm at. Were you in yeah. the ever in the dungeon with the frogs? Yeah. 
Okay, yeah. that's that's where I gave up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, anytime you have to like, there's a couple dungeons where you have to turn into frogs or mini, and those are uh, those are kind of whack, honestly. Um, I like it's meant to sort of change up your gameplay, but I think they kind of kind of stink. Um, and uh, yeah, but I mean, it's it's an interesting choice. I'm glad they never do it again. The end. Um, I would love to see the Pixel Remaster stuff uh, put onto some other games. Uh, Chrono Trigger kind of uh, jumps out at me. Um, no, thanks for I'm the five dollar tip, not Suraya. Um, <laughs> no, no, so... it was actually me. Oh, was it you? Okay, <laughs> thank you for the five dollar. Why'd you tip five dollars? Um, but I know. Wait, wait, never mind. Okay, so uh, <laughs> anyway, um, the uh, I'd like to see like a Chrono Trigger Pixel Remaster. Or, uh, you know, maybe a Secret of Mana. Well, I guess it kind of did Secret of Mana, right? Uh, not too long ago. Um, but, like, the Pixel Remaster treatment, I think, kind of works. So, um, I don't know what else they could do with it, but I think it's a cool idea. And it's working out pretty well. A lot better than I expected. So, yeah. Nice. Nice. Um, the other game I wanted to talk about today, which is the one I did say, uh, is WarioWare Get It Together on the oh, Nintendo yeah. Switch. Um, WarioWare Get It Together is the most recent game in the WarioWare franchise. Can you believe that's a franchise these days? I yeah. love it. They need more WarioWare, no problems, is what I always say. Um, I think this is great. I think it's a great game. Um, I think that it is, uh, I've never disliked a WarioWare game. Even, like, the Wii U one that most people kind of have a distaste for, I thought it was good. Um... So maybe my taste isn't to be believed, but uh, I think this is a fantastic game. Basically, the gist of it is, just like in most WarioWare games, you're playing a bunch of mini games in rapid succession, um, and they're all goofy and weird. Um, but in this one, you play as the individual WarioWare characters. So you've got Wario or, uh, you know, Nine Volt, Dr. Krieg, or stuff like that, uh, Ashley, etc. And... Uh, each character controls differently, and you can play each character in every single one of like the two hundred plus mini games. That's so, neat. Yeah, and you, it's like um, it's it, you can play modes where you choose the characters, or the proper way to play is you play all of the eventually eighteen characters randomly. Um, so you're getting just random versions of every mini game constantly. That's um, cool. It's it's great. Um, and like again, all the characters play for, like not not necessarily totally differently. Um, you know, Wario can fly around the screen and do his shoulder tackle. Um, there's Young Cricket who you get at the beginning who can basically is a platform jumper. Uh, he walks on the ground, or like Ashley flies around on her broomstick and shoots. Uh, and like some characters can't even move. Some characters are they move uncontrollably, and you have to aim them. And so some are harder than others. Um, but I like that challenge. I like that randomness. I like, I like that weirdness that WarioWare brings to the table. It's a weird game. It's a super weird game. Oh, for sure. Uh, it actually might be the least weird Mar WarioWare, though, honestly. Really? Um, like, the trailer yeah. has you squeezing toothpaste out of a tube as one of the mini-games. That's, that's <laughs> like it's, basic. Like, it's tiny, tiny one. That's a, that's, that's a basic mini-game, bro. It's a weird-ass game, game. No, like, no. I'm trying to think of, like, there's one where you're collecting tears from a lady's face and nose. Yeah. Um, there's one where, uh, let's see, you have to get a leaf over someone holding a towel and the fan's about to blow the towel off of their uh, naked body. And so you oh. have to put the leaf over their genitalia. Why um, are after dark? What, what if you <laughs> fail that one? Hold on. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't fail that game. Um, sure. I don't fail any of the games. I'm really good. Uh, <laughs> okay. um, there's a lot of always, uh, the best ones are always the ones that are based on old Nintendo games. So there's one where you have to like hit a block really hard in breath of the wild to make it fly off from stasis um that's cool the boss of that level is just levels in super mario world and you have to take the characters through a level in super mario world uh <laughs> navigating how they navigate so like you know some characters fly some characters walk some characters have to like sort of use rings because they can't walk so they like grab onto these rings and climb across the mario world level oh wow. avoiding enemies and stuff okay. it's pretty neat yeah um, it's got a multiplayer function, which is really cool. Uh, you can play two players simultaneously and team up to be the mini games. There's also a ton of side modes. Uh, I'm kind of working my way through the, uh, challenges, which are kind of like, uh, mini things you can do once in the post game. Um, 
which are like you know complete uh what, what are like there was one where i had to um there's this girl named penny who shoots water out of a like water tank uh and it sends her spiraling in the opposite direction i had to do this game where i had to touch these stars in the sky uh but shooting penny backwards into them instead of hitting them with the water and i had to do it like 100 times or something um and so you're doing all these mini achievements there's also an online uh ranked mode um where you can compete in these mini games uh in order to unlock other things um there's like a weird character training thing there's like 14 side mini games um like one of those is this full platformer where you're trying to make papers and go to work um uh, <laughs> no like there's, there's, there's a volleyball game um there's like there's all kinds of shit uh Why would warriors I play a game where i make papers and go to work yeah, well you pick awful. up the papers by you know you can be a uh, wario and then you can shoulder ram into your co-workers oh, oh you know what yeah, okay yeah, yeah, and you take you take the paper and then you turn into uh, eighteen volt and then you shoot them with your flying compact discs. Okay, yeah. That okay, makes sense. I'm in. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it now. Um, <laughs> I, I highly recommend it. Uh, if you've never played WarioWare before, uh, now's a good time to start. But really, it was always a good time to start. Find a WarioWare. Get to it. What are you What are you waiting on? Don't be All an right. idiot. Yeah. Um, it's 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 real good. It was what the Switch needed this year. I think personally. Okay. Great. Uh, is that all you played? Um, and then like, yeah, yeah, that's all I played. I want to talk about one more thing, but you guys talk about what you played first, if anything. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I did not really play anything. Uh, I just I played more of uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Um, but beyond that, I've been working on projects. Uh, I've been working on uh, something that w once it's done, I'll, I'll show on this show. Um, you may know that a while ago I created a handheld gaming system that we, as a community, mostly Amber, has dubbed the Codex. I'm making the Codex light. And uh, I'll show that. You're off ridiculous. On the show. I'm, I'm a ridiculous you're, 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 person. You're, you're a ridiculous I person. I love it. <laughs> but uh, I'll have that on the show when, uh, when, when I'm done with it. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't think Nikki really played anything. She, she beat Persona 5, so. And it was oh, you beat it. Game. That game was really cool. Congrats. Awesome. Yeah. What's next then? What's next in the pipeline for you? I have no idea. I need to pick something. Okay. All right. Are you looking for an RPG? Like. Um, yeah. I mean, I'll play anything that sounds interesting, really. So. Persona 3. Corona Trigger is great. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I'm, I'm playing I'm Final I, I, Fantasy X. It's time for you to play Chrono Trigger. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. is a fair argument. A fair. Um, so a teacher is asking in the chat, how many hours did you clock overall? And um, I do have a screenshot of uh, the, the final hours on the completed save, but it's a little um, incorrect because I was playing mostly using PS Remote Play. And the first, like, the first time it shut down because uh, the Wi-Fi signal wasn't great, I thought, oh, I just lost all my progress. I'll come back to this later. Turns out it just shuts down the remote play and not the console. So, like, I left the game on for, like, two and a half days. But anyway. Oh um... I mean, to be fair, you leave your computer on for months. So... <laughs> I the do most too. I've fine. ever left it on was 70 days. Be okay, nice. okay, you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> I, I don't um... know what I'm talking about. Uh, but I believe uh, the, um, you know exactly what you're talking about. I believe my final uh, amount of time was something like 228 hours. Nice. That's good. Wow. Yeah. That's that's worth the oh, money. Oh, sorry. Paid. It's not 228 hours. 233 hours and 50 minutes. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. That's a lot of video gaming. Right on. But again, I have a habit of leaving things on. So. Yeah, yeah, true enough, true enough. <laughs> um, and then someone asks, Nikki hasn't played Chrono Trigger? No, she hasn't. Uh, they also follow it with stop streaming now and go play it. Yeah. So. yeah. Don't, don't, she'll do that. Don't, I would, I would don't do encourage that. that. <laughs> but yes, uh, I agree. You should play Chrono Trigger. Um, but yeah, that's really all that we've been playing. And I think I know what Matt wants to talk about. So Matt, uh, why don't you introduce what you want us to talk about? We have to talk about Chris Pratt, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like everyone, everyone who's doing some sort of dumb YouTube show is going to talk about Chris Pratt this week. We have to talk about Chris Pratt. Sure. Um, yeah. I was a big fan of Nikki coming into the chat a little late and, and being like, Hey, are y'all fucking with me? 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was, the timing was so good. I was like, oh shit, like things are happening at work. I need to pay attention. <laughs> and then I came back and like chat was upset about something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and, now, and, and you, you brought up the Spider-Man homecoming thing, which is a classic story because we saw Spider-Man homecoming together, but you had to leave for a work thing at the end of the movie. Yeah. And you missed like the last like 15, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And so when we got out to the car, I, I just made up a complete fabrication of the end of the movie. Yeah. And it sounded like it was legitimate. So I was like, yeah. um, are you fucking with me? And it, yeah. it took you and Cody a long time to admit that you were actually fucking with me. Yeah, I don't even remember what we said. I don't know. Oh, either. me neither. But, you know. Yeah, it was a good time. Uh, but no, th this news is not uh, fake. Uh, for those who at this point, or maybe you're watching the VOD, uh, the archive, uh, when... You know, they've already changed this due to fan anger. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, it was announced uh, yesterday, I believe, that Chris Pratt uh, is is playing Super Super Mario in the Super Mario Brothers movie, along with uh, Charlie Day as Luigi. Um, uh, Anya Taylor Olson, right? Is that the correct name? Yeah. As uh, Princess Peach. Uh, Jack Black as uh, Bowser. Seth uh, nothing makes me, you know, the Chris Pratt stuff is stupid. Nothing makes me laugh more than Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong, right? <laughs> and yeah, Taylor Joy, there it is, yeah. But uh, Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong is my favorite, is my favorite thing from this. <laughs> I thought so much of that Cats list, like, I thought none of it really made sense. I was at work, and then <laughs> Nikki sent me a tweet to tell me what's been going on uh, through Discord, and I'm like, is this fake? And then I'm reading through. I'm like, <laughs> all of this sounds very fake, like a like a cast list that someone like a fan cast list. And then I at the bottom, it's like, also Charles Martinet will be there as a guest, special guest cameo. I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? And then I notice it was from Nintendo of America. So I'm like, shit, this is real. Okay. Uh, Keegan Michael I'm Key is Toad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. I mean, there there's. There's a lot of things we could say about it. Um, you know, there's Most obviously <laughs> mm. <laughs> there, there's obviously the whole you know um, the the with us having you know connections to voice actors, some of us being voice actors, um, Cody, and uh, you know the idea of um, you know replacing a longtime voice actor with a Hollywood celebrity is kind of kind of stinky. Yeah, you know? yeah. You know? It feel it feels um, gross. Yeah, not a fan of that. Uh, big Hollywood exec energy, for sure. For sure. Um, I think that, like, I don't know. Um, it's there, the, A lot of the choices are weird. Obviously, Chris Pratt has some issues, too. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. You know, I you know, was like, he's... let's take the nicest guy who uh, is so joyful and loves what he does so much and is perfectly happy being known as the Mario guy for the rest of his life and replace him with some asshole that won't completely disregard the, or, or uh, uh, say bad things about the, the church and all the terrible things that they say that he's a part of. And then right. apparently he's also an anti-vaxxer. So yeah, let's, yeah. let's replace the good guy with a guy who's well, probably. Well, hold on. Let's stop for a second. Cause Mario would be an anti-vaxxer, right? You think? <laughs> <laughs> Mario, Mario would be an anti-vaxxer. No, wait, no, he's a doctor. That's Never true. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. In fact, it's... with like the cell phone, the mobile Doctor Mario, I'm pretty sure every character every in the Mushroom character Kingdom is a doctor Mushroom... now. Every one of them, <laughs> even so the they're all pro <laughs> Um. So yeah, I I think like Chris Pratt is um not the best choice. Um, Chris Pratt's Chris Pratt's weird, right? In that. Like, I'll watch stuff with him in it um, and be like, you know, it was fine. You know, I like Guardians of the Galaxy. I liked Parks and Rec. I love um, those things quite a bit. But I mean, but I it's, kinda... it's, it's, it's the same. Yeah, sure. And I, I wouldn't hate it if, like, you know, he wasn't cast and stuff uh, ever. Um, the other casting options, oddly enough, don't bother me as much. Um, like, Charlie Day Luigi could be stupid, you know? Sure. Um, and, like, again... Seth Rogen's weed Donkey Kong is going to be like, <laughs> oh, oh, 
place what is you know there's like a you know there's like a bunch of bananas over here <laughs> like fucking great <laughs> love it big fan um and and you know i'm sure there's gonna be some good, good like come on jack black as bowser is pretty inspired i'm pretty excited about that of everybody in the cast i think yeah. jack black will do a fantastic job for sure for sure um charles martin getting the boots kind of kind of kind of kind of dumb kind of shitty um yeah uh chris pratt's kind of dumb but it is what it is you know i i don't know what we should have expected them to not you know be very big hollywood exec energy as the teacher says in the chat yeah. uh but also i'm gonna go i'm gonna go into it with this um will it suck i don't know i can't say for sure whether it will suck based on a voice cast entirely you know um does it have the potential to be a train wreck oh yes <laughs> do i like train wrecks oh yes <laughs> um so uh i'm i'm here for it either way listen we've already got one train wreck mario brothers movie and it fucking rules <laughs> number two <laughs> <laughs> this one's animated I hope I hope I hope the Illumination Mario movie ends with Princess Daisy showing up with a gun and saying we have to go back to the Mushroom Kingdom just like at the end of the original <laughs> Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. All right. <laughs> okay. so I'm going I I I accept the Illumination movie with open arms though uh Chris Pratt can go away. Yeah. All right. Well, that's uh I think that's kind of it. In fact, um let's not even bother talking about the stuff that's coming out in two weeks let's there's just nothing it. cool that's coming out except there's, for a lot of shit like there's a uh, real quick i'm not even gonna say the dates uh in the next two weeks from when this comes out you can get alan wake remastered and metroid dread and uh yeah. also there's a game called bpm bullets per minute where it is a first person shooter where you and the enemies must move dodge shoot attack um to the beat of a the soundtrack uh which is a rock okay opera. It's it's a necro dancer, yes. Style yeah. FPS. Yeah, it's, okay. it's it's a lot like that, but it's an FPS. Okay, yeah, that sounds it. fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's get into playing some games. So, uh, like I said at the beginning of the episode, this time we are playing um, games that we've watched each other play in past episodes and be like, man, that was cool. I like to play that. It's called Jealousy Week. And I'm just going to start us out. Um, I believe uh, my game, the one that uh, we're going to start out with, was from episode 159, I believe uh, is the case. And yeah. it's uh, from a Halloween episode of the show. Um, and it's Bloodstained Curse of the Moon, which is a sort of Castlevania-like game that uh, Matt played for that episode. And, uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot to say about it that we haven't already said about it. So why don't we get into uh, just, just playing it? Sure. I can understand why you'd want to play this. This game rules. Yeah, it looks pretty rad. Yeah. Uh, have you ever played a Castlevania game before? Uh, I played Symphony of the Night. Okay, okay. I love Symphony of the Night. This is more of a, uh, so like, you know, uh, the actual Bloodstained is very Symphony of the Night-esque. Yeah. This is more, this is very Castlevania 3. Okay. In a lot of ways on the, on the NES. Are you... So we have we have the script that I was... I, I guess I could have been reading it here, but, but yeah. uh, I, I didn't. Uh, Zen gets you. He has a sword, and he doesn't like to not cut things with a sword. Yeah, it's time to go fight some demon, guys. Yeah. All right. Moonlight Temptation. Let's go. And I kind of like the NES sort of palette for the characters where you're primarily one, uh, one color for each character. For sure. I thought that's kind of neat. And very Castlevania, uh, you you blow up uh, fire to lanterns and whatnot to get lanterns to get that were just like, hanging in the trees. Yes, just for no reason. I don't know why you keep so much money inside of lanterns, but where do you keep your money? Uh, well, that's a good point. Jars. Okay. Well, stick a candle in them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. That's a good point. 
This this music is very good. It is, and this level is very Castlevania. With, uh, the never-ending supply of undead-like creatures sliding across the ground, and he's even got a floating head that you had to fight at one point. Zangetsu being David Hater is relevant at all times, period. <laughs> So is uh, the other bloodstained? It's not NES style, right? It's uh... no. So the other the other bloodstained um, is it's, it's kind of more modern looking, um, but it plays like Symphony of the Night. Gotcha. Um, I mean, it's from Koji Igarashi, the uh, main brain behind Soji, um, and it, it's a really really wonderful game. I like the skeleton just deciding to tell me where I need to go. Yeah. That's a good choice. Yeah, 2D plane, 3D art style for the uh, legit. Plan I, what is this? It? Like, it's not cursed. It's uh, something of the night. I don't, this is I don't recall exactly. The the name of the, the, this game? This one is Curse of the Moon. I'm trying to think of the uh, the Rich rituals of the night. Ritual of the night. Yeah, yeah. there it is. Um. All right, time time to train. I trained Bloodstain like two or three years ago, I think. I think you did, yeah, We're, when it was new. Yeah, yeah, it's really really good. I think um, this is a 2019 game. Yeah, so this this came out, I want to say like a week before or like the the week of, and which is kind of like a bonus, you know, like uh, the the whole story with Bloodstain is that it was a Kickstarter. And a huge Kickstarter success, um, and uh, they, you know, were only supposed to develop the one game, but they made this one too because why not? Was the, was it a uh, like stretch goal or something to make this? I don't even or? think it was a stretch goal. I think they were just like, yeah, we made this one too. <laughs> that, that's fucking rad of them. Yeah. I can throw black holes. It's awesome. It's uh, not unlike the uh, like holy water. Yeah. Uh, in OG Castlevania. I yeah, there's like... a lot of Kickstarter games that didn't turn out great, but this one, this one definitely did. I do like that you unlock multiple characters in this game, and like they each play pretty differently. For sure. And, uh, they all have their own sets of weapons. You go over there, skeleton. You see that giant rock man? Oh. Ro rock man gonna kick me butt. Oh, nice. Good jump in there, kid. Thank you. All right, I killed the rock man. I'm gonna see if he has anything. He doesn't. I think the skeletons technically count as checkpoints, too, I want to say. Oh, do they? I think so. I'm not sure. I might be wrong on that one. If they do, I, I didn't notice, but... Yeah. Yeah, Mighty Number no. 9 did not turn out great. That's not a very good game. Yeah, that's unfortunate, too. I love me some Mega Man. Yeah. So we, here we are at the first boss. We got there pretty quickly. So, uh, very true of old... Uh, cartridge-based systems. Uh, we have a pattern here. I love, like, you know, obviously it's evocative of NES stuff, right? But, like, what's going on here could not be done on NES. Oh, no, not at all. No. no. Um, yeah, I mean, the boss obviously looks uh, very uh, like, like what Shovel Knight, you know, did a lot of the same sort of yeah, for style sure. to me. Um, but I, I, I've been really drawn to the, like, what, three or four layers of scrolling that we have going on? Oh, yeah. Like, it's really cool. It's got very really good cool. Parallax. Yeah, they made, a, they made a Curse of the Moon too, I believe, yeah. Did they? Yeah. I like my little up, upward whip thing that I have. Okay, so now he's dead, and what I didn't realize at this time, or maybe he's not dead, he's almost dead, but, uh, no, he's dead. They all do a final, final attack, death attack, yeah, yeah I, I didn't realize that. <clears throat> you barely that. survived. Yeah, I very nearly died. 
Nice job, though. One shot in it. Thank you. Yeah. I was pleased. So uh, now we unlock character number two, which is a lady living in a sphere of, of magic. This is this is very Castlevania three. Were there multiple characters in three? Yeah. Okay. The shard binder. I've I've never played Curse two. I'd really like to give it a shot at some point. Oh, is she? Okay, that's cool. Yeah. She's the uh, main character of. Ritual of the Night, yeah. Ritual, yeah. You can you can play as Angetsu in Ritual uh, after a patch as well. Really? Okay. Yeah. All right. So here I am. This is tell me how to play her. She has the long whip, and the slide. Uh, I promptly uh, I do it that time and promptly forget that I can do that and <laughs> and get none of the stuff that is made for her slide. <laughs> Frigid Hell. <laughs> Why'd they name this place that? That's a bad idea. <laughs> it is not very good for tourism. Ooh. Now I have candles and lanterns. I have both. Well, the candles are evil. Yeah, the candles are Well, and some of the lanterns were too. One cool thing is, like, the enemy design of this game is really unique and interesting. Yeah. Um, but, but I also don't think that any of these designs appear again in uh, Ritual, to my really? knowledge. Oh, not not that I've enemies? seen so far. Yeah. That's cool. Though some of these I would like to see in a 3D game. Sure. Like the weird, like, cloaked tentacle lady that is wobbling back and forth in the previous Oh, game. there's a lot of weird enemies in Ritual tonight. You'll be fine. Okay. You got more than enough. <laughs> All right. Nothing can prepare you for the big cat. There's a big cat? The big cat. Gotta, I gotta get the lanterns. It's important. Yeah, that's nothing. Don't worry about the big cat. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> Don't even think about it. Never think about the big cat again. Never. The good door opening sound. <laughs> you know, I didn't really notice it the first time, but yeah. So I faded ahead here to this uh, ice world. Is this I still actually... frigid hell? This is still frigid hell. Okay. Fucking whack o bat. Yeah. Oh man, this boss is a jerk. Yeah. It's like a weird, like, centaur turtle. A sin turtle. A sin turtle, yeah. Now I will say, I, I have actually fought this boss before. I died and uh, cut it out for time. Sure. So I do have some idea of what's going on with this boss's pattern by this point. So you're cheating is what you're saying. No. <laughs> I just didn't show my failure out of shame. Got it. Makes sense. Blaming it on time. I'm out of weapon powers. No more weapon points. Oh boy. This is not good for me. Good jump in there though. Thank you. Wacko bat, Zeriaco and dot bat. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, maybe. Come on, you can do this. You got this. I'm trying. But I'm also uh, getting hurt a lot. So. I've noticed. Okay. 
So that's it. You win. I, I beat it. I also forgot about the last attack again, so. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> God. It, it didn't hurt me all that much, so. It would be, like, slammed into pieces. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. I about that. <laughs> that's all right. And here, here we're done. There's her butt. Nice. All right, so that was uh, Curse of the Blood Moon. Um, a lot of fun. I, it's actually not that expensive on Steam. It's like seven bucks. Uh, so yeah. uh, I'm definitely I'm going to finish it for sure. Um, cool. Yeah. But yeah, I'm I'm real excited. I I, I like yeah. it quite a bit. Yeah. Seeing that made me want to go back and play uh, Curse of the Moon too, because that's a cool game. Right on. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. All right, Matt, you're up next. Uh, so I decided to go back in time a little further uh, than Cody. Um, mine comes from episode 32. Uh, long you know, time. Doing ago. these for a long time. We've been doing these for a long time. We have. Uh, 32 would have been like 2013, maybe. Maybe. 14. Yeah. Um, and uh, it was a puzzle games episode. Uh, on that episode, I played Mr. Driller, which <laughs> don't get me wrong, Mr. Driller is great. Um, Cody played, uh, Scribblenauts Unlimited, and, uh, I've played a little bit of Scribblenauts before. I don't think I've really played much Unlimited. I apparently had, because I did have a save file when I started the game. Um, but I didn't remember much of it, and so I wanted to give, uh, Scribblenauts Unlimited a little bit of a, a retry, and, uh, just sort nice. of dive into some puzzles blind and see what we got. Excellent, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, so let's take a look at Scribblenauts Unlimited. Excellent. Um, so yeah, if you don't know Scribblenauts, soundtrack. yeah, it's cute. Um, it's basically your Maxwell, that little guy with a chicken head, and, uh, you can go around and, uh, basically type whatever words you want to type, and, uh, then, you know, that's, that, that happens, that thing appears, and you use that to solve puzzles. Etc. I don't know why I started the game with a jetpack and a knife on the ground, but that's a good sign, I feel. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Scribblenauts, it, it, there, yeah, there was a DC one, like, Unmasked, I think. Um, they, they made, like, a million Scribblenauts games, and then I can't, they realized, we can't do this anymore. <laughs> I don't even know what, what happened. I don't know what happened to the company that made Scribblenauts, or if they're even alive. Uh, this one's cool because you can add adjectives to the items that already exist. Yeah, I think uh, that change, was the big change the properties. One. Yeah. Um, and I've kind of apparently solved most of the puzzles here already. Uh, you start with these hub worlds here, uh, these mini hub worlds, and they've got sort of mini puzzles you can solve. Um, but then here's the main puzzle for this world. All right. Horny knife. Uh, so we've got these three climbers and we want to uh, have them climb the mountain, but there are these piles of rocks in the way. Ah. All right. I got to find a way to get rid of these rocks so the I can type any object I want. Conundrum. Yeah. So uh, how do you get rid of rocks? Obviously, a bazooka. That's, yeah, that's the person that came to my mind. Of course. Um, yeah. So let's attack. Yeah. And oh, I shit. did die. You blew yourself I did. up. <laughs> It did die immediately. Um, <laughs> and that, you know, that's lesson one, right? Watch out for bazookas. Uh, they can kill you. Apparently. Rock, paper, Who bazooka. Knew? Exactly. So I wanted to make, make sure I was able to not die. Power armor is not a thing, but maybe just, <laughs> maybe just some armor. Um, okay, I'll take some armor. All right. Um, and I thought about, you know, a bazooka again, but... Uh, how about, let's, let's take this mech. I'll get a mech. And we'll ride the mech. And then we'll, uh, attack these rocks. Shit. Okay. Oh my god, my mech sucks. <laughs> Rock, rocks Great. are too powerful for the mech. The rocks are too powerful for my mech. Um. So I wanted to get an acid gun, which it let me get. And when I wow. got it, it didn't, it didn't do anything. I couldn't yeah, use the it? acid gun. I don't know. It seemed to be on my person. Did you just eat but it? I wasn't. I it seemed. To, I think I ate it. Yeah. I'm more acid than Maxwell now. <laughs> um. Use paper. Ah, ah, that's good. Uh, I should have done paper. That's really smart. I like a bulldozer. How about a bulldozer? Uh, nope. These rocks are too strong. 
That's gonna be a no from no from the rocks. Got it. So let's uh let's get out of the vehicle. Get the fuck out of here. You can go up there. Um and I gotta get rid of these rocks somehow. The bazooka I don't wanna get killed by a bazooka again though. Um so maybe a shrink ray? We can make okay. the rocks small. You but now I eat the shrink ray. ray. Yeah, I keep eating these guns. For some reason Maxwell eats guns. I don't <laughs> I don't like it or appreciate it. Uh, it's very concerning. You know, Abigail and um, Stardew Valley eats rocks. You eat guns. True, yeah. Uh, so I wanted to add an adjective to the rocks. And maybe we can work with that. So like, how about a destroyed rock? No, it didn't work. Got it. Cool. Great. Thanks. Um, Destroy. If you go into your backpack and equip stuff. Stone Cold Steve Austin could defeat the rock. <laughs> so yeah i wanted to like try self-destroying i like that self-disgracing was <laughs> self-disgracing rock <laughs> a diamond pickaxe yeah there you go click the gun work. and tell maxwell to take it like here how about some tnt okay uh you didn't eat the Perfect. tnt okay all right that worked a little bit it wasn't enough, though. Could you do it again? Well, I could. Well, let's go up and power oh, a little bit. Sure. I, don't, okay, I can't throw it. How do you How do I set it? off the nuke? I don't, I don't know. Can you throw shit at the nuke? Well, maybe just drop it? Nope. Okay. Um, hmm. How does one utilize their new nuke? We're just gonna we're gonna throw a TNT at the nuke. <laughs> nuke instructions. <laughs> so you're using your first nuke. <laughs> <laughs> when Q, when in doubt, just throw all the TNT. Yeah, I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw a TNT at the nuke. Oh, that did it. Yeah, yeah. we did it. Good and job, now, everybody. And that was an unlivable area for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so they get up to the next area, uh, and luckily are unharmed by the nuke, which is great. Yeah. Um, and now the Norse gods arrive, um, and they do make things too cold for my friends. Uh, so I have to create three objects that will help this, them survive in the cold. Uh, I'm like, well, okay, sure. Uh, seems easy enough. Let's, uh, if you're, you're cold, how about a sweater? Yeah. So I try Perfect. and put the sweater on him. That's a no. It doesn't work. Like, that should okay, work, hey, take, though. Take, take the sweater. Take the sweater. So I'm like, okay, here's another sweater. Maybe I put it in my hand? No, it just makes me wear it. So I'm <laughs> wearing a fun sweater. That is cute, though. It is cute. Oh, no, the Jotun. <laughs> um, <laughs> she I'm like, okay. warmed her up. <laughs> Yeah, I tried warm to make hugs. her warm. It didn't work. It didn't work. Uh, how about a campfire? There you go. <laughs> uh, doesn't seem to be working. I just, okay. You set him on fire. He is not happy. Oh, that counted though. <laughs> he wasn't happy. Well, did I'm not sure. I like well, got a check mark for it. I'll do it to everybody. This will be great. It warmed yeah, you're, all, you're all warm now. You did it. Good job, team. Go you to the next area. You Yay. completed the puzzle. It didn't say they had to be happy about it. It actually broke. It actually broke, and I couldn't interact with them anymore. Oh, really? Okay. Um, So I had to restart. Uh, I nuked again, and this time they got radiation poisoning, so now they're all green. Oh, shit. Uh, and I just made them have little houses to live in, which is nice. Um, At this point, we uh, get to the top of the mountain uh, after a quick fight with a Yeti. I have to place an object on the peak that one of the climbers would want. So what's something that would be on the peak of a mountain that you might want? How about a sexy diamond? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Oh, you go with seedy or sissy. A, a, yeah, a, a, a seedy diamond. A sizey diamond. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that's not, no one wants that. Okay. Well, what's something that these three might want? <laughs> uh, Radiation medication. I, so, yeah, how about radiation cure? Oh, there's not in there radiation cube? Oh, <laughs> it just oh. makes it more radiated. 
and it starts to kill the diamond. Um, oh, no. so that's not good. Uh, so let's throw those away. Um, so I can look at the people and tell what they want by kind of interacting with them. Is one of those scientists Krillin? Uh, it looks like it, right? Um, but first I decide, well, maybe you want a stack of money? A stack of bills? A stack of balls? Nope. Uh, how about a stack of money? A stack? Okay. The, the word filter is weird. It's yeah. Weird. So I have to make money stack. Okay, a manly stack. <laughs> the fuck am I looking at? Get off. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's dying of poison. Um, what do you want? Would you come to the top of the mountain for? Uh, do you want a wife? <laughs> She's there. No one wants a wife. Well, this guy wants to mark his personal achievement. Uh, this person thinks the peak is as close as they get to the heavens. She thinks it's the perfect place to look at the stars. Okay, wife, goodbye. Um... <laughs> So, let's make it so that they can get close to heaven. Let's put God up there. No? God also Fine. Is this is boring. Here, I have a telescope. Um, and this lady loves it. She's great. <laughs> that climbing animation. Oh, it's real good. And I have won the little star, and I can move on to the next level. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so now I'm over into the, this old west level, uh, where three bandits have gone to hide from the sheriff. And I've got to find a way to get these bandits to come out of hiding. A greedy Gary Gold Digger. Alright, now, uh, first of all, I'm wanted. I don't know what the fuck that's about, but okay. Uh, so there's the sheriff, there's a, another criminal. Um... Greedy Gary is hiding behind that gray rock. Uh, Can so you I wanted to try rock? and... I try. I wanted to, but it didn't seem to be, let me put an adjective on it. Um, I could put adjectives on her. Oh, I can let this criminal out. That's fun. Let's do that. Uh, but I think you. it would be... Well, I, they look scared. They're running yeah. away from the law. Um, I do a little <laughs> dance, and I decide maybe if we made him a re reformed prisoner? Nope. Reinforced. Retired. A re a re <laughs> yes, a retired prisoner. He's no longer a prisoner. Didn't help. Didn't do anything. He's not helpful. Ma made him not scared anymore. Uh, okay, writing this did nothing. It doesn't move. Cool. Thanks, video game. Um... Yeah, I know he's behind the rock. Thanks, Sheriff. Uh, so I want to get this guy out from behind the rock. Well, maybe... Uh, what if instead you were a... Not retired. But... A helpful prisoner. Mm. Yeah, help me out. Get him out. Go get him. <laughs> Go helpful get just him. means flag. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now I, I turn Gravedigger good. Come on, come out. You want You want to put yourself in jail. You belong in there. What about cowardly? You're scared of rocks. Go. I no. mean, who isn't, though? Yeah. What about... Hmm. I'm not sure of another word I could use for old Gear here. Running. He's running. Now you're moving. No, nothing. Well, when in doubt, there's only one way to get rid of a rock. <laughs> that's an explosive. <laughs> it did not scare him out. He just died. <laughs> uh, he does. He does die, and I fail. I do fail. Um. So I decide he's greedy. I bet he would like a bag of money. Yeah, it worked out. Easy peasy. And she just grabs him and puts him in the cell. <laughs> <laughs> um, next up is Kenny Can't Hold It Calhoun. He's hiding up on a different level, um, and he can't hold it, so he needs a toilet. <clears throat> I spent a while trying to get that donkey to kick him. That didn't work. And then we got Hat Thief Hannah. Well, she's up here. Obviously, she's going to want a hat. I almost tried, went with TNT. Thought about it. Uh, but I didn't want to start over again. <laughs> 
And so I gave her a hat. She comes out. The sun decides to blow up stuff for me instead, which is fine. Um, and she gets put in jail with a splat for some reason. And now I can get that star. Uh, I have won the mission. I've completed it. We're doing great. Uh, the camera does not pan back up to me, which is really weird. Um, but I'm like, well, I don't know. Fuck the law. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a cab baby. <laughs> Come on out, gang. Let's go, yeah. They immediately start fighting. Uh, the cop still seems happy. She knows that it's okay, um, and we don't need the police. So uh, I've won, and we can move on. Right um, on. And that's uh, that's just two random missions from Scribble Knots Unlimited, uh, which is again from 2012. I think. Yeah. Um, it's a game it's solid um it, it it's not perfect it's obviously got some hiccups um but i mean it's a fun time still um i think i originally played it on the ds like yeah the, i think that's where DS. it started yeah um but i mean i'm pretty sure it's cheap if you ever feel like playing it uh or the dc one has a bunch of dumb like it's got some deep cut characters in it if i remember correctly um but yeah so scribble knots unlimited it's it's a good time i'm glad i went back to try it Right on. I'm I'm glad you played it too. It's it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I uh, I quite enjoyed it. Uh, all right. Um, now, uh, Nikki, what did you play? We're gonna go slightly farther back in time to episode 27, oh, man. which was definitely in 2013 because, like, back then, um, Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix for the PS3 <laughs> was coming out. And that was something we discussed in the new crap for some reason. Um, and uh, the theme that episode was Sim Games, where I played Top Gun, uh, Cody played Papers, Please, Dylan, when he was a host, uh, played Wonder Rocket, and Matt played the game that I played, which was Surgeon Simulator. My oh, boy. Goodness. Oh boy, what a video game. <laughs> what, what an experience. All right. So uh, you're going to cut some people up with bad controls. I'm going to try to cut a person up with bad controls. I bet she's going to be great. I, I bet uh, so. Can you, yeah. Can you yeah. have a little faith in our friend Nikki Cody? This is, this is going to be the first time any of us gets past the first level of Surgeon Simulator. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here All right. we go. Quapfully good time. Yes, good game. This is a good video game. So I definitely cut out my first failure, mostly because it took me, I don't know, six minutes to figure out how to pick something up. That's so. fair. Sure, sure, sure. Fair. And clearly, I still had it all figured out. So. <laughs> it's all right. You just just gonna push it off. There you go. You got it. <laughs> this game is so bad. You're. Your calculator watch got stuck on it and pushed it off the floor. It's good. Oh man! I love it. It's like, what? What, what are the <laughs> physics on this blanket? <laughs> this game's got good music, though. The music is fucking awesome. It's like you want to be in the gym, like lifting weights or something. Yeah. <laughs> Why are the physics? That is the appropriate question. <laughs> Just knock that ball right, into his open cavity. It's fine. Well, Why is I mean, listen. This guy voluntarily chose to come to my hospital Bad for choice. a heart yeah. man. He <laughs> knew the, the quality of care he was getting. <laughs> Which is to say none. <laughs> <laughs> because I just dropped the saw right onto his fucking open chest. You don't need your rib cage, right? <laughs> well, I mean, you're not so, like, you can live without it. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. So the saw is lost forever now. I mean, that's fine. And like, so is part of this guy's rib cage. That's fine. You don't need the whole thing. 
Yeah. Get rid of yeah, the yeah. of it. Now he can suck his dick. It's great. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's, That's what the surgery is for, right? Yes. He wants he wants a new heart because the current heart he has is too big and it's preventing him from uh, um, you know, dick. servicing himself. So on the topic of playing this in VR, I believe Cody has. Maybe. Cody, can you confirm deny? Cody, you are okay. muted, friend. <laughs> Sorry, I started it up in VR, um, but I didn't get much further than that uh, because my computer could not handle it at the time. That, was, a... that was development kit days. Do you think surgeons have... Medical terms. You're, you're right, a tea tree. My yeah. Apologies. Do you think actual surgeons just have, like, you know, their empty Fago bottles and, like, pens and pencils just lying around? Yeah, for like sure. Yeah. Old grody alarm clock. It's 721. We know what time yeah. you're performing this surgery. Whoa! My, my watch just falls off my wrist. <laughs> yeah, I love when your watch pops off in this game. That's when you know it is popping off for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, oh no. no. I just wanted... I just wanted to drill him <laughs> once. That's not even how drills work. What is happening? Oh, God. Oh, no. You're, you've, got, you've got red on you. Yeah. Where <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch slams three bang energy drinks in Doctor Strange. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put a death shroud over him. We know where we know <laughs> where this is going. It's better for him if he can't accidentally see the malpractice yeah. happening. <laughs> so this time I'm gonna do it. I am going to rip that guy's ribs clean apart. Yeah, use oh the, the buzz saw. Oh, she did it. The doctor malpractices in the woods. Oh and no! Oh no! <laughs> You've already cut yourself. You're gonna, you're gonna oh, no. die. <laughs> <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Okay, okay. So yeah, so yeah. I mean, I am not even getting very good <laughs> at like getting the shroud off of him. That's all right. This is the, the entire point of this game and why it's fun to watch people play. <laughs> I did, um, in between attempts, I did watch somebody who knows how to work with these ridiculous physics do like a quick playthrough of this level. And I don't know how anybody plays this game with any degree of skill. Did, it, did they like look like a real surgeon? Was there like, you know, they look like, like they knew what they were doing? Yeah. Oh, God, uh, what has happened? Oh, you drugged I yourself. I stabbed myself with one of the syringes. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so now you are very high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, so... I thought it was like trauma center and you'd summon the devil. <laughs> I wish. I wish the devil could help me here, I think. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Beryl. Oh, is there really an achievement for finishing the surgery while drugged? Wow. Uh, that's a level I'll never get to and don't aspire to achieve. Um, <laughs> you'll never finish the surgery. <laughs> no, no, no. So to answer the question, I mean, it didn't look like an actual surgeon, but like it looked like the controls weren't wonky. Sure. Uh huh. Okay, this is good. This is good. Yeah, we're, we're getting there. We're making solid progress. I yeah. cleared out two of the ribs. Yes, perfect. Please break. There it goes. And then it's, it goes it's good. When, it's good when you hear a doctor say, "Please break. Please break. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Please." So by this time, I'm a little frustrated, right? Because hammer. like it had been a few different playthrough attempts. Yeah. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to hammer his ribs and see yeah. what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, um, my plans kind of go <laughs> awry because I can't pick things up. Sure. 
I like that you laid it on him and just rocked it back and forth. I tried so hard to lift it up. I was like moving my mouse so much. <laughs> so I, I lose the hammer forever, and then oh, I lose God. the drill forever. <laughs> well, what's left? The saw? Yeah. And then I tried the saw. The saw is really hard to pick up. So I decide I'm gonna overdose this man to death. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, but my is... watch comes off for some reason. This is dark. This is dark. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... okay. We have one more syringe. Put a happy little needle over here. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? This is perfect. We're just going to close them up now. <laughs> it is new. Transplanted. <laughs> Transplant successful. I'm gonna just try to put the, the sheet back over his chest and call it a day. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I've earned every dollar of my $250,000 salary, mm -hmm. and uh, I can rest easy knowing that I've saved yet another life. Yep, Except yeah. I can't fucking pick up the sheet. Well, you can't get paid unless you put the sheet back on him, Nikki. Well, I... It's stuck on the I monitoring device. I'm a heart surgeon for nothing. Sure. I know there are other ways than getting the sheep back on the guy's chest. And uh, that's through slapping him. <laughs> <laughs> or just kind of just <laughs> gently patting <laughs> his head until he goes off into that good night. Wow. Uh, good ending. Good ending. That's delightful to watch. Um, so I imagine you're not going back. No. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah. But that, you're, did you're, you have fun? You, you've got a talent. You've got a skill. Yeah. Yeah. And that skill is murdering people. Yes. <laughs> to be fair, Fire. they just said a transplant. They didn't say what you had to replace it with. You just had to take yeah. a heart out, I which you didn't do. I transplanted a living person and into a dead person. <laughs> uh, okay. Well. Yeah. I'm not going to play that game again. All right. So uh, that's that's this week. That's Jealousy Week. We're uh, we're reaching the end of the show, everybody. But before we sign off for uh, another week, uh, Matt, what are we going to play next time we get together? So barring, you know, lots and lots of uh, scheduling conflicts forcing us to do the Halloween episode next, uh, the next theme will take us back. Uh, you know, earlier, earlier when we were talking about the Mario movie, um, it was interesting. Uh, a teacher he talked about Hollywood uh, corporate overlords, mm -hmm. you know, um, and how they have their hands uh, directly in the Mario, you know, pie, as it were, um, which is great. Because we're going to be looking at some other pies that those hands have been in because it's Adver Games Week. All right. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah. Games that are meant to advertise a product. All right. Um, or, or have prominent product placement. Okay. So... Uh, I watched a video from Polygon the other day. Did you know there was a uh, Subway crossover with Uncharted? No. What? what? No. Where, where like, you could go to Subway and get a $5 foot long or whatever, and it would get you like some Uncharted DLC, including an Uncharted emote, where he would go five and then foot long. The $5 yeah. foot long dance? He would, he would just go, hmm, like... <laughs> Uncharted man would do that. Okay, sure, yeah. I'm not playing Uncharted, but that's stupid. <laughs> yeah, that's the kind, yeah. Of, kind of the kind of stuff we're looking for. Um, but yeah, yeah. Okay. Next time, we're selling out. That's what you have to look forward to next time we're getting together. Uh, subscribe to find out when that is. Um, yeah. But in, until then, I'm Cody Coleman, and with me as always, is Nikki Wright. Hi. And Matt Krua. Guys, don't die. But Matt, they should do something. What is it? <sighs> they should keep on blowing, Cody. They should keep on blowing. That's what we say for 190 episodes. <laughs> <laughs>